For years, a local family has demanded charges against the jailers who they say tortured and killed their loved one inside the Fulton County Jail. Well, tonight, that family has a sigh of relief. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Russ Spencer. I'm Courtney Bryant. Six jailers now face criminal charges for Antonio May's death. Fox News Alex Whitler was there as May's family and attorneys reacted to the indictment. For three years, family has wondered if anyone will be held accountable for Antonio May's death. The father of three died back in 2018 at the Fulton County Jail, not long after he was arrested for trespassing. Antonio May was never convicted of a crime. He was merely charged with a misdemeanor. And he had these issues, and this horrible confrontation happened that caused him his life. Family says several jailers tased, beat, and pepper sprayed Mays in the middle of his mental health crisis. For a few short minutes Tuesday, family felt a sense of optimism, knowing someone will be held responsible for Mays' death. Two of his sons held photos of their father, while legal guardians say the indictment felt surreal. Well, I want to thank God and thank the DA. I, di I didn't I didn't know if this was ever going to happen and I just want to thank Fulton County for electing someone that would take a stand against such injustice. The jailers who face felony murder, aggravated assault and other charges are Aaron Cook, Guido De La Cruz, Omar Jackson, Jason Roach, Kinesia Strouder and William Whitaker. Family attorneys say the case has been in limbo for more than one reason. They blame a backlog from the previous district attorney and the coronavirus. Uh, DA Woodis and her team, they, they took this case seriously from day one and we got the indictments today. The message Tuesday was clear. The family and their lawyers look forward to seeing how this case plays out. That's our Alex Whitler reporting.